What's going on everybody? JT here, coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go, and today we are doing the Day of the Dead event. And a huge goal for us is gonna be trying to get one of these Duskulls shiny. Unfortunately, this incense one wasn't, but these are very uncommon in the wild. And I've noticed that there's quite a few raids for them out and about, but I wouldn't recommend you guys really raiding them because they are full odd shinies, so that's a one in 450 to one in 500 chance of it being shiny. Those odds aren't great. And while we hunt for that shiny Duskull with the flowers, we do also have a collection challenge, and that is to catch a Roselia, a Litwick, apparently we already caught the Cubone, Sunkern, Chinchow, and Swirlix. All of these Pokemon can be shiny, so that is an upside to the event. Plus, Swirlix really hasn't been out since the Sephora Go Fest and the Worldwide Go Fest where Shiny was released. So hopefully you get your hands on it if you missed out. And we're gonna get an incense and a Poffin, and it looks like some sort of encounter from it, so I'm excited to do it nonetheless. This is my first wild dust call, not off an incense or a lore or anything like that. So, is it red? It's not red, sadly. Oh, man. And a 328. So I know I just said, like, a little bit ago that you shouldn't do these raids, but I'm gonna use a free pass on this thing. That's all I'm gonna do is just use my free pass, because I'm not gonna use it on anything else, so we'll see what we get from this, but I'm not expecting to get the shiny. But here's the moment of truth. Do we get the red one? We didn't. Wow, what a shocker. And this Swirlix right here is going to be the last thing we need for the collection challenge. Sadly, it isn't a shiny one, but luckily we did already complete that set, so I'm not too bothered, but I would like to get a few more, because I know some people out there that do need it. And there's the collection metal badge. We are officially at 80 of them. Not bad at all. And just for fun, there's another Swirlix that isn't shiny. And now that we've completed this Dia de Muertos 2022 collection challenge, let's claim these final rewards and see what we get. We already know we're gonna get the incense and we're gonna get ourselves a coffin, but I'm curious what this is gonna be. I actually don't know. I didn't look ahead of time. It's gonna be, oh, an Alolan Marowak. Sadly, this one isn't shiny and a 757. I don't think that's very good, but let's find out. Is it good? It is. Not at all. Wow, a 121211. Fantastic. Took a little bit, but we found another one. Red? Not red. Okay. Turns out, actually, we have two free passes. Wide as well. Again, it is a full odds, but it would be cool. It didn't happen. Didn't think it was gonna happen, to be honest with you. Been walking around for a little bit now, and I think I've maybe found like four or five Duskulls in the wild. They're very rare. And on the incense, to be fully honest with you, I've seen maybe three of them. They've made them pretty difficult to find. Luckily, we do have a spotlight hour for it, but it's gonna be rough. But right now, I do have nine seven kilometer eggs. These are the last Halloween event eggs I was able to get my hands on, so let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get that shiny Noibat with number one. Nope, that's the Golit. What I meant to say was the second one's gonna be it. Or another Golit. Okay. Three anything but Golit. Well, okay. See? Something better than Golit. The fourth one is another Yamask. Lucky number five. Oh, gross. Here's our sixth one. Another Yamask. Number seven, please be a Noibat. Or another glaring Yamask. Two eggs to go. And we got another Golit. And this should be our last egg. Not a single Noibat in that entire final one. That's rough. And none of these look to be hundos. And our first shiny of this event is going to be a wild Yanma. And you can't even see it. That's just how cool it is. We're to Oh, there it is. 811 CP. Pretty cool nonetheless. I was hoping to find a shiny later on. It's way too early to find this thing, but I'm hopeful that we'll find another soon because I want to do a special trick. But now that we caught this one, let's just take a look. Are you good? Yeah, you're all right. 15 HP is cool. Again, the shiny's just a tad too soon, unfortunately, but we did get ourselves a shiny Litwick, and I'm down because I love shiny Litwick. And it would be nice to have a really good one, though I did manage to get a decent one during calm day, and that's not going to be one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, we have back-to-back -back Galarian birds. I just got the Articuno yesterday, and here's the Zapdos again. Downside, though, is it is weather boosted. 17, 16. I, I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch this, but we'll give it a shot. I can't really find a good place to put you guys, so I have the phone on my knee here. Hopefully this works out. We've set the circle. Actually, let's just keep going here. We're gonna wait just a little bit to catch them. Luckily, we don't have to worry about them going up and down. But here is going to be our throw. Oh, dang, that's terrible. I bet you anything we're gonna lose this like immediately. One. So yeah, there you go. He broke out and he's gone. Oh well. Hey, at least we got to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad I found this. This is a shiny whooper right here, which is cool, right? But it's also four minutes until spotlight hour. We're gonna try to turn this into a dust goal as long as it doesn't despawn on us. And while we wait, I'll explain how it works. So basically what's gonna happen is that all the dust goals are gonna take over in about three minutes. And then when they take over, anything that was shiny will become shiny. Now there are a few Pokemon that this won't work on, say like there's Scythers or a Galarian and a Lolan Meow, things that are perma boosted shiny ray. These Pokemon will not turn into a shiny whenever they revert into the new like spotlight hour Pokemon. But I am just so happy we found this thing, honestly. Now I'm just hoping that it doesn't go away in three minutes. One eternity later. We're now in the last couple seconds, but let me tell you, when you're waiting on something like this, it is just the longest waiting time, but we're very close to six. It's now officially 6 p.m. We're gonna have to wait just a couple seconds for it to switch over. Sometimes it lags a little bit, but there they are. Okay, is it? No, that was the wrong one. I think it was this one right here. You're the red one, right? Yes, we got the shiny. Let's freaking go. I was so worried I wasn't gonna get my hands on it, but we 
got it, ladies and gentlemen, or at least we got to see it. We still need to catch the thing, but oh, I'm just so happy I was able to show that trick to you guys because we saw like two shinies beforehand and I was so worried that we weren't going to be able to like show it off. And there we go. We got it. Shiny Duskull with the freaking flower crown thing, whatever it is. Let's take a look at the IVs. It's decent, whatever. One thing I should note is that it doesn't matter if it's weather boosted or not. The only thing that matters is the shiny rate on the Pokemon. If it's a full odds and you're trying to get a full odds with it, it'll work. But if it's a perma boosted shiny and you're trying to get a full odds with this method, it won't work. But now that we've gone over that, let's check these real quick. And of course, we're going to have to use AR because AR makes this a lot faster. No way! There was another one right here. All right, we got two. We only need one more now in order to complete the set. Let's freaking go. Oh man, I cannot believe this. We are having the best luck. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully this one will be good for PVP as a Dusclops. That would be pretty good. Oh, oh my God. Wow, a 12, 13, 13, I'm down with that. Let's find that last one we need. So I've got some good news and I got some bad news. The bad news being, unfortunately, this decided to die within the last two minutes of the event. But I can't be too angry because within the first, like, five minutes, we got two shiny Duskulls, which is insanity, and they're both pretty decent. And another bit of good news is that we just got this insane bowl of ramen right here. And apparently, according to this place, it's a small. But while I'm enjoying this delicious ramen, let's do an evolution. I just don't know which one to do. We're not going to take it all the way to Duskalorm, but we're definitely going to take it to Dusclops. So give me a second to see which one of these would be better for PvP as a Dusclops. So we'll Apparently this is in the 270s for rankings for Great League, and this one's the 269, so this one's just slightly better, and it was the first one we got, so why not? Let's turn it into a shiny dust gloves with the flower crown, plus we did the special trick on this one as well, so I feel like I kind of have to, you know what I mean? And there it is, we got the shiny dust gloves with the little flower crown thing. I forget the name of the exact flower, but it looks really good. They did a really good job with the flower, and I'm so happy to have this thing. Now, if we were to power this thing up to Great League standard, if I'm allowed to, what would it be? All right, it would become a 1498. That is not that at all. We're not going to do it right now, obviously, because I don't want to spin the dust. But I mean, that's pretty good for a freaking dust clops that we just got today. Hey guys, we're back at the hotel now, and let me tell you, my stomach really hurts. Turns out that ramen that I got was like the second largest portion of ramen that they have there. And this store is known for having a thing called the Monster Ramen Challenge. And I guess I must have mispressed a button or something, because I was just trying it out to see if I would like it before attempting the challenge. And now it apparently I've done like the minor form of the challenge without even really trying. I'm proud of myself, but at the same time, my stomach still kind of hurts a little bit. And I completely forgot to show you that we did actually have a shiny Togepi, as you can see right here. So let's take a look at its IVs real quick. This was during when my phone was about to die, so I wasn't able to record the eggs, but it's a, oh, I didn't look at the IVs. It's a 14, 13, 11. That's not bad at all. I hope you found today's video informative, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel. We just hit 82,000 subscribers, and we're on the road to 100K. We're getting closer every single day. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. Good luck with your Duskull Spotlight Hours, and I hope you get every single one of them so you can complete the line. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.